All right, guys, I said I wasn't gonna do another video about this rear suspension, but this thing's been a lot more involved than I originally thought. So I wound up modifying the shit out of this uh, lower trailing arm and I had to clearance it out so that I could make sure that the bag wasn't gonna hit anything. And then I had to weld in little plates to fill in where I had cut it. I wound up cutting even deeper into the trailing arm so that I could get the bag sitting completely level when it's up at the uh, all the way retracted position. So once I get all this bolted back in, I'm gonna show you uh, how difficult this has been. And this is still, I'm still only working on one side of this. I haven't even, I mean, I welded in the upper bag mount for the other side, but I haven't even attempted to start working on that trailing arm. Uh, I've been working on this trailing arm for about uh, two hours now, maybe three hours. And uh, I just now got it to where I'm ready to test fit it, but I got to let it cool down from all the welding and grinding that I did on it. So once I get this bolted back in, I'm going to show you everything that I had to do to it. All right, so here's the airbag completely installed. Obviously, it's sitting a little bit of an angle this way, but as far as this way goes, it's perfectly straight. Now, my only issue that I see, and I don't know if it's an issue or not because I've I never really screwed with airbags before. But when you get down to the lower end of the stroke, the airbag's pretty damn crooked. At the bottom. The airbag itself is straight, but the bottom of the bag is a little bit crooked. You can see what I'm talking about. But, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be all right. I guess I'm just gonna have to fucking try it and see what happens, but. If I gotta wind up adjusting this and changing how I do it, then so be it. I'll have to pull the freaking body off and readjust it after I get the car back together. But we'll see how it goes. But this is this is still one of the most difficult things I've ever done on a freaking car. And it's kind of kicking my butt. But I think it's turning out pretty good. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so now I've got both sides fit onto the freaking trailing arms. Uh, it took me about five hours to do all that fabrication on just the trailing arms, nothing else. Um, they fit really good when they're in the collapsed position. Both of them look about the same when they're in the extended position. They tilt a little bit to the outside and a little bit to the back, um, which is expected because the arm is moving basically down and away. So um, everything looks good when it's in the collapsed position. So now all I got to do is take all this stuff apart, uh, take it up to my brother-in-law's shop and burn in all the stuff on the top end and then uh freaking paint it and put it back together so uh yeah this was a lot harder than i thought it was going to be all right guys so i've got all the uh components set where they need to be everything's test fitted i need to do a little bit more modification to the lower plates for the airbags where they sit on the trailing arms um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, cut the diameter of them to where they're the same diameter as the top of the bag or the bottom of the bag, I should say. And, uh, then I'm going to pull those out, <clears throat> remove the urethane bushings and remove the bump stops and repaint those. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the chassis up to my brother-in-law's shop, burn all this stuff in, and, uh, then I'll prime and paint it. And currently, I'm in the process of painting the front beam. I've got two coats of primer on it right now. But the beam has been stripped and sandblasted. So now I'm doing my primer coats. Once I get the primer done, I got one more coat of primer. And then I'm going to do uh, three coats of paint. Once I get all that done, then I'm going to start removing the bearings that are in the ends right here. I got new bearings for all four spots. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the ball joint arms um, and get them ready to push new or to press new ball joints in and the air ride got ordered the air ride for the front got ordered a couple days ago so it should be here in the following week and uh, when it gets here I'll go over how I'm installing the front air ride it should be pretty easy but I want to cover all that in a separate video but as it stands right now I'm going to get this painted or finish primering it and get it painted and then get all that on the chassis, burn in, and uh, get everything, get the trailing arms back off and get it painted. And now my buddy Rusty wound up getting a deal on a bunch of cars. 
and that's why these other Volkswagens are here. So I've got a, a Carmen Ghia, two more 73 Beetles, standard Beetles, and then another Carmen Ghia in between them. Um, what we're gonna do, uh, he just bought them because he got such a good deal on them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the deck lid on this one and uh, sandblast and paint all the wheels and put new tires on them, on both of them. And then uh, gonna, I think we're gonna replace the, the hood on one of them, I can't remember which one. But we're replacing this deck lid and then replacing the hood on one of them. And uh, we've got all the fenders for them and everything. Uh, gonna repaint the, sandblast and paint the wheels and then these cars are gonna be put up for sale. The Carmen Ghia is not for sale and neither is that one. Um, that one is actually, I'm gonna see, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna see if I can cut that car up and that car up to make one good car out of both of them. So that'll be covered later when I get done with the, with the Beetle. I'm not even gonna attempt to touch either one of these cars until I get the Beetle uh, back together. But that's where I'm standing right now, so I'll give you an update after I get the rear suspension torn apart to to finish modifying the trailing arm. All right, guys, so now you can see how I've modified the trailing arm. I had to weld in these plates to fill in the holes that were left after I cut the top of the trailing arm off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim these down so that when the airbag is completely collapsed, it kind of rolls over the edge of the bag and I don't want this edge cutting it. So I'm gonna cut it underneath the base plate of the, the airbag and just blend it into the arm. So I'm gonna cut both sides of it. I've already cut one side of this one and I just gotta cut the, the rear half of it right here. So I'm gonna cut that out, grind it and clean it all up. Then I'm gonna push the, the urethane bushings out, prime and paint these and get them ready to go back on. All right, now I've got both trailing arms fit. Looks kind of like a football, which is what I was going for. I put the uh, airbag on there and this fits just inside of the base of the airbag. So here it is with the airbag on there. I, I got a little too deep on this one. So it's, it's got like an eighth inch uh, undercut. But that one's right where it needs to be. Um, and this isn't an exact science. I'm just trying to get it to where the airbag won't get cut when it's all the way in the deflated position. So now that I've got that fit the best that I can, I mean, I'm obviously not gonna weld back on there and add material to it, because it'd just, it'd be a nightmare to do that. But I'm gonna clean all this up, press these bushings back out, take these up to my brother-in-law's shop and sandblast them. And uh, that way I can repaint the entire arm and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, now I've got the beam mounted onto the chassis. I'm gonna replace these front bearings. I've just got a two jaw puller mounted to my slide hammer and they slide right out. So there's the bearing removed, removed it out of that top one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bottom one on this side and the other side. I've got the top one out on the other side. But once I pull those out, I'm gonna replace the bearings and we'll go from there. All right, now you can see I got all four bearings out. The one that had the, uh, where the spring steel that was running between the two ball joint arms the side that was broken, the needle bearings are all missing out of it. There's not a single bearing inside of there I'm trying to get it to focus. There's no bearings in there, but you can see the bearings inside of this one. But here's my four new, four new bearings. Getting ready to uh, set those in there and then grease All right, up. guys, so the bearings are in there, but they're not knocked all the way in. Right now, they are just flush with the end of the tubes. There's a stop when you knock them in, they'll eventually hit a point where they won't go in any further. So now I gotta get, the way I knocked them in was I used my uh, wire brush handle and just had it across here and hit them in with a hammer. Now I'm gonna get a piece of brass and knock them in the rest of the way. All right, now the new, you can see the new bearings are all the way pressed in. Um, I found the best way to do it is to use the old bearing and knock it in with the old bearing. Um, but there's a positive stop that it hits when it gets all the way in. So now that I've got those replaced, I can start putting the ball joint arms in, but I, my front air rod has not showed up yet. It should be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait until I get the air rod and, and start assembling the air rod. But I did get the rear burnt in and painted. 
and I got the rear arms repainted. So I'll put the whole rear air rod complete and put the whole front air rod complete. The only thing that I won't have installed as of the end of this video will be the air management system, which will probably be another two to three weeks until I put that on. Now I have a major job coming up through my work and uh, I may not be able to work on this car for about the next month, month and a half. Uh, I'm gonna be in Florida for three weeks and then I'm gonna be in Indiana up by Lake Michigan for three weeks, maybe four. Um, so obviously if I'm not here at the house, I'm not gonna be able to do any work on this vehicle. Um, the only week that I'll be home will be the week of 4th of July. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any work on it when I'm here for the 4th of July. I might, but it's kind of up in, up in the air right now. I don't know if I'm going to, but once I get the air ride here tomorrow for the front, I'm gonna go ahead and show the rear air ride completely installed, painted, completely finished, um, and then show how I'm installing the front air ride. And then um, I'll probably cover putting the rear wheel bearings in and whatnot, and we'll go from there. But just wanted to let y'all know as far as what's going on with, with me in the background. Um, it's probably gonna be about a month and a half to two months before I'm able to post another video after this video is posted, unless I do some work over the 4th of July week. Um, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So hopefully you guys understand my work comes first. That's the only way I'm able to afford to do all this stuff because I don't make any money off these videos. So, the, and that's not my goal. My goal is to show people how to do this stuff so that they can actually do it themselves instead of paying somebody 100 to 150, $200 an hour to do this shit. Uh, if you can do it yourself, save yourself a ton of money. So that's the main objective of these videos. But like I said, I'm not making any money off these videos. So all of this is self-funded from my job. So my job is top priority. So I hope you all understand. All right, guys. So I received my package from Air Cooled and Unfortunately, the through rods that are supposed to go with the uh, front air ride kit actually broke through the side of the box and fell out and I didn't receive them. So the only stuff that I received in the package was the front air shocks, the hardware kit, the, and the Delrin uh, bushings or bearings or whatever you wanna call them that go on the uh, ball joint arms. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you the box where the freaking rods came out and I'll show you the uh, uh, rest of the parts that I got with the kit. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to build the front air rod until I have received the through rods. So I'm gonna go ahead. I've got the whole rear air rod completely installed, painted, ready to go. So I'm gonna show you guys that. And then I'll show you uh, installing the rear wheel bearings in the uh, trailing arms. So here's the box that I received from Air Cooled. And you can see right here, three rods busted out the side of the box and fell out. So um, I'll show you guys all the uh, parts that came in the box. Uh, I've got them downstairs, they're not in the box anymore. But I contacted Air Cooled as soon as I received the package and inform them that the through rods were missing and Pete uh, immediately emailed me back, uh, responded super quick, said he's gonna ship out the uh, replacement through rods on Monday. So hopefully I'll have them by the end of this week. I don't go to Florida until Father's Day. And then once I go to Florida on Father's Day, I'll be down there for two weeks, come home for the 4th of July, then I'll go back down there for a week so I don't know what I'm gonna be able to get done in the meantime, but I'm gonna try and keep uh, plugging along on this, on this vehicle and uh, see how far I can get. All right guys, so here is the entire rear chassis completely assembled. You can see the arms are completely painted, airbags are installed, shocks are installed. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is to put the wheel bearings in, but I'm gonna go spend some time with my parents, so this is where I'm gonna end the video. But as you can see, the entire rear suspension is installed and ready to go. So I wasn't able to do any work to the chassis today because uh, it rained most of the day. Um, and it's four o'clock in the afternoon now and I'm gonna go spend some time with my parents uh, before I have to go back to work. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, next time I post a video, it should be installing the front air ride and uh, 
putting the rear wheel bearings in and getting the spindles and all that put in and uh go from there but like always if you like what you saw in this video please like comment share subscribe let your friends see what i'm doing and get this channel to continue to grow so have a great one i'll catch you in the next one